All right, well, welcome to the holiday season. Uh, I decided to bring my wonderful little fur baby to work with me today. Uh, this is Amelia, everybody. She's, so if you hear her, please don't be alarmed. She's just being, well, the bane and love of my life. But this is the holidays, and we're gonna be doing on Bad Dude Drinks TV. Traditionally, we do uh, some sparkling cocktails, and we are gonna be doing three. We are going to do the Pisco Punch Fizz, we are also going to do the Mexican 55 and the champ uh, oh, the soya or champagne. Anyway, all right, just go and wander around. Don't worry, I'll get you home, we'll get fed, I'll give you treats, lots of cuddles. You're gonna get talking to the cat. Right, anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? The Pisco Punch Fizz. Now, in the 19th century, San Francisco was like the, the hub. It was the place to be in the Pacific, okay? And during that period, one of the number one drinks, like the drink, like the drink that was like the paper plane that is now was called the Pisco Punch. A lot of people credit a guy called um, Duncan Nicole at the uh, bank exchange bar during that time period as the guys create, created the drink. However, that's still negotiable. And do your own research on that one if you want. The actual uh, bank exchange is actually found at the Trans-America Pyramid is now in San Francisco. And that's where you will see where the old site is because the bank, the bar doesn't exist anymore. But this was the drink. Now, hey, we'll talk in a minute. Just let me do the show. Please let me do the show. Okay? Please? Okay, some cat difficulties going on here, but we will get back to it. So, the Pisco Punch Fizz. This drink is actually adapted from Simon Difford's The Difford's Guide. And I love this drink because it's a little bit of history which has also been adapted to be into the present. And it creates a really quite a cool drink. So, let's go and make one, shall we? So, a couple of pointers with this one. First off, um, I would like to point out that the bar is closed, so that's why my cat is with me, okay? Uh, two, um, when it comes to these kind of drinks, try and keep to the, to the recipes as much as you can, please. Try not to add more or, or add less or, or whatever, okay? But I'll give you some pointers. So, what we're gonna do is, it is a shaken drink. Now, you need a little bit of clove, so I'm, you just get maybe two, cloves in there okay and then you crush them up all right i use my little zombie tool here i've got you can use a rolling pin if you want at home all right just make sure they're all crushed at the bottom there okay then you're going to put in an ounce and a half of pisco now Pisco is actually a South American distillate made from the pomace of grapes, okay? And you have Chilean and Peruvian, and they're both fighting it out about who was first or whatever, but really the Peruvians were kind of first, okay? That's a can of worms, I know, but still it are. You will probably know of something called the Pisco Sour, which you should know. A lot of places do sell them and make them, but this one is the Pisco Punch, which is actually, no, the Pisco Sour I think has been around longer, but here it is. An ounce and a half, I'm using a Peruvian one here, okay? This drink was so popular in the 19th century that Roger Kipling did quotes about how amazing this drink was, okay? And people used to say how it would t literally taste like an angel but would f up the next day, all right? This, this was the drink. So one, uh, two ounces, two little bits of clove crushed down, an ounce and a half of Pisco, one ounce of pineapple juice, okay? Half an ounce of orange juice. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Now, I'm using a rich syrup here to make mine, so I'm using half an ounce. If you're just doing a simple syrup, do about three quarters of an ounce, okay? But I'm doing half an ounce of rich, okay? All right. Then, add the ice. Get your sparkling wine ready. Okay. 
give it a good shake. Then, get yourself a nice, tall glass, Collins or a highball will work really well. Fill it with ice. Then, because it's got crushed up clove at the bottom, this is where I would definitely do a fine strain. Okay, so fine strain it over the top, like so. Little tap. Top up with sparkling wine. See, this is a great adaption, and I've got to hand it to uh, Mr. Simon Difford of Difford's Guide. If you aren't on that site, you should be. Difford's Guide is absolutely fantastic. Now, do things a little bit easier to mix it up a bit more. Just do a little stir all together, like so. Okay. Maybe a dehydrated lemon. You don't have to. Did like that. Give it a good sip. Mmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's a lovely drink. That is great fun. A little bit of a tropical festive drink for you. Okay. And then next up, we're going to do the Mexican 55. I love that drink. Oh, what a name. All right, here we go. So. Ooh. Ready? Here it is. We're now going to do the Mexican 55. I love this sparkling drink because one, well, it's uh, basically a margarita uh, and a sparkling wine mix. So like a French 75 and a margarita had a bastard child. And this is how it was created. It's from La Perla in uh, France, uh, created in 1986. And it's based on a quote, and I love this quote because this is Fidel Castro in a nutshell. Fidel Castro said that, uh, wine, uh, that bullets were like fine wines. Uh, Mexico 55 was a great year for, for uh, bullets, 1952 not so much. That's sort of how the quote goes, okay? But this is a shaken drink, and here it is. It is really, really easy, guys, and you can have a lot of fun. So, ounce and a half of tequila. You can use any tequila. I prefer to use Blancos, all right? So, ounce and a half. All right. Then we do one ounce of lemon juice. Okay. Then we do half an ounce of rich syrup. Again, if you're using simple, do three quarters, all right? couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. You can use orange bitters if you want, because I know there's some guys in Soho in London do it with orange bitters. Then, shake it up. Get another nice tall glass. Add ice. The recipes will be all in the comments section. All right, there it is. Strain it over. I didn't fine strain this. I don't personally think you need to. Top up with some sparkling. You can use lime juice if you want. It's not the end of the world. All right. So if you like your tequila, you like margaritas, you like French 75s, this is the drink you want, okay? And just do a little mix. Dehydrated lemon again if you want, you don't have to. There it is, the Mexican 55. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh man, that's great fun. This would be a good holiday drink as well. Well, they all are. Right, and next up, we're gonna do the ice cream drink. And this is really quite a cool one. All right, back in a jiffy. Right, so coming to the third and final one, I'm getting a little, little slosh now, but it's the holidays, I guess. And I'm currently trying to have a conversation with my cat who is loving a hay. Oh, there she is. Okay, all right there, baby, don't worry. 
Right, now we're going to do a soya or champagne. Now, according to the 1949 uh, handbook for hosts by Esquire, this was the drink of the time. Mm. Mexican 55. Oh my god. Okay. So here it is. This is going to sound a little weird when you make this drink because what you need to do is you need to have a nice little uh, glass ready. All right. Preferably quite a nice big uh, coupe, one that holds six to eight ounces. All right. You want a nice big one. You could do this in a mug if you want. All right. But have some fun. Don't chill the glass because if you're going to put the ice cream in there and chill it, it, it won't mix as much. And you'll understand in a minute when we're about to do this. So what you do is get some ice cream. Okay, I, I did a variation of this drink with uh, gingerbread ice cream. All right, you can do the same. Put a little bit of ice cream in the bottom. Okay, like so. Then mix the following, all right? You need half an ounce of brandy or cognac. It's up to you, all right? Half an ounce of Grand Marnier. Please try and use Grand Marnier and not Cointreau. All right. Okay. Half an ounce of Maraschino. Okay. All right. Then. Shake it. Drizzle over your ice cream, like so. Then, top with sparkling. And serve with two straws. In this case, what you do is you get people to slightly mix it up, dissolve it down. I personally used to serve it with some spoons, little teaspoons. And you mix it up. All right. Like so. Okay. You can play around. I'm using vanilla ice cream here, but you can use whatever ice cream you want. Have some fun. All right. But to do the base right first, okay? And that's it. What a crazy idea. Mm. Oh my god, that works. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna count on drinking this. But guys, have a really great holidays. Okay? It's really good fun. And just enjoy it, because you never know when you may have another one, or may not have another one. Okay? Just enjoy it. All right. I'm going to go and make my wonderful media, my cat, happy again. She's somewhere wandering around there right now. She's just now pestering my cameraman, who happens to be, at the moment, this one is allergic to cats, which I just found out this morning. Okay, sorry. Anyway, guys, all of you, have a happy holidays. I wish you all the best. Enjoy it. This is BDTV out. Then we're going to start the new year with some non-alcoholic drinks. Here we go again.